To run PHP and to run databases in your computer usually is done with a server. Now luckily for us there is a solution out there which is a software, actually many different types of softwares that will act like servers. So we download that software, we install it in our computer and we can run PHP and we can run databases. And that software will act like it's a server. Now it doesn't change anything on your computer it just helps you run PHP and databases in it. So let me show you what software I'm talking about right now. So first of all, there are many different types of softwares, but we are going to be downloading only one. And this one is called XAMPP. Why we are downloading this? Because XAMPP is actually, well, they are saying they are the most popular PHP development environment. And I have to kind of agree, XAMPP is very popular. Now when you come to the screen here you're gonna have a button here for Windows, for Linux and for Mac OS unless they change it later on in the future. Depending on your operating system you're gonna click on one of these buttons here. If I'm in a Mac right now so I'm just gonna click on the Mac button and this will download a file for me automatically. So I'm gonna wait for it one, two and three. There we go. So this is gonna start downloading to my favorite directory in my computer probably downloads the download folder and when this finishes downloading and this goes for Linux and Windows machines too it will do the same if it doesn't do that if it doesn't download automatically just click on the here it would take you to another site and it will do it automatically again alright when this finishes downloading just click on it and install the program like install any program in your machine just like any program just install it follow the directions and everything is default I repeat, every, every option that you choose on that program, just choose it as default. You're going to click OK or you're going to click Next, whatever you need to install the program. Once you install the program, it should, it should open up a something called the Control Manager. If it doesn't open it up, then I'll show you how to open it up right now. But once this finishes downloading, let me just cancel this one because I already have the program. So once this finishes downloading, you are going to have something like this. This is exactly the same thing that Windows is going to have unless they change it. If you're on Windows, you're going to have a control panel and you are going to have this in your programs and then in a folder called XAMPP. All right? So that's where you will find it. Now, if it doesn't open automatically, again, go to that folder XAMPP and then click on that control panel. Uh, a file that you have there and you should open this up. When you open this up then just click start and start for Apache and MySQL and you're good to go. For Mac users you're gonna have something like this. Let me see if I can get it. I'm going to show all windows and right here. So you're going to have something like this. It's gonna welcome you and we're gonna go to manage servers and then here the same thing as you did as we did with Windows you just turn it on click on this file on Apache start MySQL start of course mine the, the start button here is grayed out and just that's because it's running so once you start up MySQL database and Apache let me just click now here and minimize this you're gonna go to your browser and you're gonna type local host when you do this and you see this window here then your installation is good. All right, then you successfully install XAMPP on your system. If it's not, then you uninstall the, the, the program again and try installing it again. If you still have a problem, contact me and I will help you out as much as I can. For Mac users, you will find this program control panel all right, on your launch pad somewhere. So you, if you go to your launch pad right here, you can click on manager dash OSS and it will open up for you. If it doesn't do that, go to applications right here. My finder, my windows there, applications. Go to your XAMPP folder, go to manager OS and just click on it. And then it should open it up. All right? It doesn't open up for me because I already have it here. For some reason, once I minimize it, it doesn't want to come back up. But you saw what I did. I went here and I right-clicked on it and show all windows. 
and I was able to get it back there okay right so this is this is all we need to, to have that running and again go to your local host there on your browser and that should be proof enough that we installed the software successfully if you have any questions let me know and I'll see you in the next lecture take care